Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I am very excited to show you guys how to melt almond bark in three different ways. Then I will be showing you guys how to dye it various colors so that you can embark on your own baking adventures. What is almond bark? Almond bark is similar to chocolate in that it is a candy confection, but instead of using cocoa butter, it uses vegetable fats. Chocolate, on the other hand, is made from cocoa butter. Almond bark is so versatile and it is one of my favorite things to use when I am decorating cakes and cupcakes. A few examples include my 4th of July firecracker popsicle cupcake that I just made last week. I also made some winter tree cupcakes for the holidays. Those are fantastic as well. So you can literally use almond bark for whatever you like. The possibilities are endless. <laughs> Over the years, I have discovered three different ways in melting it. And first, I'm going to show you guys the candy pot melting method. So essentially, you want to turn on your candy melting pot. And you can purchase these from Michael's or Joann's or any other baking store. You want to turn it on for five minutes and let it warm up. Once your five minutes are up, you just want to place your little bricks of almond bark into your candy melting machine and just let it melt. And you want to stir every few minutes or so to prevent burning. And it should look something like this. Once it is completely melted. The second method of melting almond bark involves the microwave and it is my favorite technique by far. Essentially, you want to place all of your almond bark into a microwave safe bowl. Then you want to microwave it for 30 seconds. Give it a little stir. You won't see much melting just yet. Then you want to microwave it for another 20 seconds. Give it a stir. Add another 20 seconds, give it another stir, and you want to repeat until your almond bark is completely melted. Usually for me, it takes about 2 minutes and 20 seconds to have fully melted almond bark. The third technique involves the stove, and this is by far the most complicated, but it isn't really that hard either. Essentially, you want to add about an inch or two of water into a saucepan, you want to bring it up to a simmer, then you want to place a glass or aluminum bowl right on top, and you are essentially creating a double boiler. Essentially, the steam from the bottom pot will slowly melt the chocolate or almond bark on top. You want to gently mix this for a few minutes until fully melted. Make sure you do give it a stir, however, so that it doesn't burn or scorch on the bottom. So those are the three ways in which you can melt almond bark. All three are pretty simple. Now I'm going to show you guys how to color and dye your almond bark into various colors. It is important to differentiate between the different types of food colorings. There's powdered food coloring, gel food coloring, liquid food coloring, there's oil-based food coloring. There's so many different types. When it comes to melting almond bark or candy melts, you definitely want to stay away from any liquid types and you want to stick with oil-based food coloring. You don't want any water whatsoever. So I have two bowls of almond bark. Into one, I'm going to add my regular gel food coloring, which is a water-based food coloring, and look at what happens. You can see that it is instantly starting to harden, it is starting to curdle up, and it comes to the point where you cannot remelt it either. Into the second bowl, I am adding my oil-based food coloring, and you can see that the almond bark is still smoothly flowing off my spoon even after adding the food coloring in. And Wilton has a great line of food coloring that is oil-based. It is called the Candy Colors. You can use this to dye candy melts or even almond bark. So that, my friends, is how you dye and color almond bark. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more how-to videos on my channel. As always, remember to keep things simple yet elegant, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for joining me on my channel once again, and I will see you next time. Bye!